Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a 1928 uh, Vos and Sons piano with, uh, with absolutely beautiful detail that has been uh, fully, I would, I would not characterize it as a full rebuild, but a full, very thorough refurbishing, with the exception of the hammers. The hammers are brand new, so that, that's kind of more from the rebuild side of the, uh, of the ledger. Um, but, uh, but it's really, really well done. Also, it's been refinished, so, uh, so, it's, so it's a beautiful piano. Cosmetically, um, it's, it's very unique. Um, and uh, I will call them back. <laughs> um, so cosmetically, it's, it's a very unique piano, and I think, I think that, uh, that the, the right person for this piano is somebody that, that loves the, the cosmetics of it. Um, but is also and it loves the loves the the the, the kind of feel the, the the unique era that just exudes from from this the 1920s that just exudes from this piano. Um, but but I, again, the right person is someone that likes that, but at the same time wants wants a great instrument, which is which is absolutely what this is. Um, it it's not like any other any other piano from this era that you'll find. Um, Every every piano from this era, that uh, you know, they'll, they'll look beautiful, but they, they don't have the the the, the guts that, that we have put into this piano. It's very rare to find anything like this. Um, generally, generally, what you find that, that has a that is a great instrument is just kind of a black shiny baby grand piano. Um, that's that's what you find when when they're when they're this in this good condition. Um, so. Before I talk about the guts, let's let's focus a little bit on the on the cosmetics. So, so I love these legs, and and this kind of trim trim detail work. And it, I think it will probably be coming through in this video, um, but it's 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 beautifully refinished. Um, so just just really smooth and you know just just really looks beautiful on this trim here and on the fall board or above the this is called the stretcher. Got a new decal. It's a um, a remake of, of the decal that was there originally. Um, and back here um, we've got the, the same the, the legs kind of all patterned after the other legs. So beautiful piano. Um, Okay, and everything that we've done on the on the inside, like I mentioned, new hammers, which hammers are what actually comes up and strikes the string, and those really take a beating after 20, 30 years, and much less, you know, we're going on, I guess, 90 years on this piano. So, so hammers are brand new. The rest of the action um, has been fully refurbished. So, so everything is properly. Uh, cleaned and soda blasted, everything tightened, lubricated, aligned to each other, everything what's called traveling so that when things kind of go, um, uh, everything in a, in a piano pivots on an arc and so over time they can start to pivot one way or the other so they are traveled so they're going straight up and down. Um, and then uh, keys, keys are, the keys are redone as are the bushings, bushings are what keep these Keep the keys nice and nice and aligned so they're not wobbly. You can see there's just very little play on these. That's a result of, of having redone the bushings, just so so it gives it a really nice tight feel like you feel on a brand new piano. Of course, it's up to pitch and tune. Um, what else? Of course, full regulation. Regulation that that goes without saying with any of the pianos that that I have here, but I'll mention it. Uh, for, for those of you that haven't seen my other videos, regulation is a process to ensure that the touch is correct and it's, it's, a, very, um, it's a fairly broad term. It's everything from leveling the keys to ensuring that the distance that you are able to depress the keys, the key dip is what that's called, is correct to ensuring that the blow distance, which is the distance from the hammers to the strings, that's correct. The, the let off distance, which is the distance that that hammer comes up close to the string within an eighth of an inch and, and then it pulls away. The, uh, the, the for, for those of you that are familiar with piano technology, 
taking care of the drop and the, the checking and the damper timing and the, uh, the spring strength, the back checks, the jack position, the rep lever height, all of these things have been, have been taken care of. And it's, I think, pretty close to, um, pretty close to perfect on this piano. I don't think you'll find uh, any, any flaws with it. Um, possibly even better than when it was brand new, who knows. Um, okay, I think the only thing left is to play it. size so great great combination that's how I would sum it up great combination of class as far as the, the cabinetry the case the, the style um, with with the uh, with the instrument I don't I don't think you can find um, a piano so it's very very rare um, to find a piano that combines such a great touch and tone with with this particular um, aesthetic hundred year old or, or I guess 90 year old aesthetic come in check it out have a look, see what you think. 1497 South State Street in Orem is the address. You can call me on my cell, 801-830-0011. Um, if you are out of state and would like to uh, purchase it sight unseen, you can absolutely buy this piano with confidence that, uh, that everything in this video has been properly represented and that uh, when it arrives in your home, you will not be disappointed um, in any way. Thanks for watching.